welcome to another week of craft time with the Payson Library. This week we talked about tall tales in our uh, Tales and Tunes we did yesterday, and I hope you guys were able to watch that and learn a little bit about some famous tall tales. Now one of the ones uh, that Miss Christine read a book about is Johnny Appleseed, so I thought it would be fun to make an apple craft with you guys today. I have two different craft options that you can do, and you can make both or just one, um, but one is this paper plate apple, and one is this pine cone apple. So those are the two choices I have for you today. So just follow along with me and I'll show you how to make them. For this craft, you need a white paper plate, a brown or black marker, scissors and glue, a red paper, brown paper, and green paper. To make this paper plate apple craft, I'm gonna start with a white paper plate and some red paper. I guess really you could do any other color apple paper. So you could do a yellow or a, um, a yellow or a green or whatever, but I'm gonna use red. And you can just grab some scrap paper or whatever you have and you're just going to rip it up. So I'm not even going to use scissors. I just am ripping pieces off and then I'm going to rip these pieces into smaller pieces. So they're just tinier. And I'm just going to keep ripping things up. I have another strip here. Rip up the pieces into all different shapes and sizes of these little ripped pieces of paper. So once you have a big collection of those ripped papers, like, I have all of those. <laughs> um, you're gonna glue those down around the edges. Now the middle part you wanna leave white because that's gonna be like the core of the apple, the inside of the apple. So um, you're just gonna wanna put glue all over the bumpy edges of this plate. Um, so I'm just gonna spread glue over part of it and then cover that part with the red ripped pieces of paper and then I'll do a little bit more until the whole outside part is covered. So, so just do a bunch of glue in one area and then you're just going to glue those down. So I did, a bunch, I did a bunch of glue right here. So now I'm just going to randomly glue these down. Cover that all. Okay, so once you've covered that part, you're going to add some more glue and more glue until this whole inside, outside part is covered in red. So just for the sake of time for the video, I'm not going to have you watch me do that all the way around because it takes a little bit of time. So if you need to, you can pause the video um, while you glue that and then you can come back to it. So. So the next thing you're going to do once that's all covered in the red is you're going to draw little seeds in the center and I just used a brown marker and they're just kind of like a teardrop shape so it's kind of like an oval but like one side is pointed. So I just did like three little teardrop seeds there and then you need a stem and a leaf. So. I just grabbed some brown paper and made kind of a rectangle shape for a stem and then made a leaf shape out of some green. So there's my leaf. So then you're going to glue, um, glue these on the back of the plate so that you see it pop out on the other side. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the bottom of my stem and glue that to the back. And then my, my leaf, I'm going to do the same thing. Put a little bit of glue on the bottom of it right there and then put that part on the back of the, of the plate. So it kind of pokes up like that. 
So pretty simple, but kind of fun. Um, an excuse to rip paper into tiny little pieces. <laughs> okay. For this craft, you need scissors, Elmer's glue, green felt, or you can use foam or paper, pine cones, red paint, and a paintbrush. To make the pine cone apple craft, you're going to start with your pine cone. Um, these are ones that I had uh, saved from uh, another thing. Uh, so I don't know if you'll be able to find some pine cones outside or if you have some uh, that you had saved from a nature walk or something. So grab a pine cone and you need a plate and a paintbrush and you're going to put some paint on the plate. Some paint on the plate. And um, I have, I've used both like the washable tempera paint and like acrylic paint and either one works. Um, you can use whatever you have. And once again, this doesn't need to be red necessarily. If you want to make the apple be a yellow apple or a green apple, you could change the color. Um, and you're just going to grab a paintbrush. It's good if you have a paintbrush that's kind of the bristles, the parts at the end here, that they're kind of stiffer. They're not like too floppy. Um, it's a little easier if they're stiffer. Um, and you're just going to kind of shove the paintbrush in there and you're going to paint all the little pieces of the, of the pine cone. And the most important thing is to get, you don't have to get all the way to the inside because you won't really see it. So just get like the big, the front parts, the parts that you see, the brown. Um, but if it's not all covered in red, that's okay. Um, you're just gonna sit it down and let it dry for a minute. If you do a thin coat of paint, it really shouldn't take very long for it to dry. But if you do a really thick coat of paint, it'll take a while. So uh, try not to put too much paint on there. So once that's all painted, while that dries, you're gonna grab some either green felt or foam or paper, whatever you have, and you're just gonna cut out a leaf shape. So there's my leaf shape. And then you're gonna take some Elmer's glue and you're gonna put a dab of glue um, at the top of the pine cone, kind of in one of the little holes that there are up there. And then you can just take your leaf and you're gonna fold it in half um, just so it's easier. Hold it at the bottom and take that point part. And you're gonna put that down where you put the glue. And you're just gonna let that dry like that. So just be kind of gentle with it while it dries. And when it's all the way dry, it should stay uh, in place there, that leaf. So there's my little pine cone apples. And I hope you guys had fun making some apple crafts today. And I hope you guys have a good week. Thanks for watching. Bye.